Now, a catwalk show in the United States has sparked a debate about overweight models in Australia. These pictures from the Swim Miami Sports Illustrated event led one health expert to warn it promoted a dangerous message about health. And an opinion article in Sydney's Daily Telegraph criticised the use of larger models as irresponsible. Others say the catwalk should represent all body shapes. Well, let's get more on this story from Stefania Ferrario, who's a model and the face of Melbourne Fashion Week, and she joins me now uh, from Canberra. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Thanks, Firstly, Sally. I mean, your size 12 to 14, which is the average in Australia, and yet you're categorised as a plus-size model. How do, you, how do you respond to the claims that plus-size models such as yourself glorify obesity? Well... The thing is, plus size models start at a US size 4, which is an Australian size 8. And so anyone over that size is classified as plus size. So many women in that plus size category are actually in the perfectly healthy weight range. So it's a very misleading title. Um, so many of us, we don't, um, we're not obese, we're not overweight. Uh, when it comes to models who are considered overweight or are obese, the thing is that there are consumers that are that size that are spending money on fashion who deserve to see themselves represented in the fashion industry and there should be models of that size the thing is we shouldn't necessarily be focusing on models that size all the time there should be a healthy balance and the focus should primarily be on the middle ground because the critics are even saying that it encourages people to make unhealthy choices would you agree I don't think so. I think if the um, the focus is put on models that are in the healthy middle ground, I don't think that's promoting um, an unhealthy habit. And I think that having a few models that are overweight or are obese is not in any way glorifying obesity. Um, plus size models have been getting quite a bit of attention lately, but as a model, how did you feel when you were first labelled as such, as a plus size model? I mean, surely that puts a lot of pressure on models like yourself. Well, I was very surprised when I was first labelled as plus size, but I thought, you know what, the industry is a bit odd, like, I'll, I'll take it as it is. But then when I had people say things like, how can you be plus size? What does that make me? And the public was very confused. I thought, wait a minute, there's obviously something wrong with this label. Why am I being labelled this? It implies that I'm not slim enough to fit what the fashion industry wants. But do you think the fact that these debates are taking place now is a proof that the fashion industry is changing? I think we've seen so much change in the past five years and I think we should keep on having debates and these topics should be brought up. And yes, there are health concerns around being overweight and obese, which should not be ignored and should be spoken about. Um, so I think, yes, keep the debate going. That'll ch churn more change and encourage a lot more to happen in the modelling industry. Because there's got to be a, a balanced range, shouldn't there? Uh, be uh, like not too slim not too obese someone of the average size yes i think have a range of women who are who are in the healthy weight range so to speak um and that's where the focus should be but obviously there are consumers that are very slim and there are consumers that are, are quite big so they should still be represented as well but the what's happening in the fashion modeling industry i seem to find is that we're having these two polar extremes these two opposites either very thin models or visibly larger models, and we're missing out on this middle ground. And a lot of models are forced, the ones that are, they're called in-between models. They're asked to either lose weight or put on weight to book the work, which I think is appalling, and the focus should be brought back into the middle. Stefania Ferrario, an Australian model, thank you so much for joining us this morning. No worries, thank you for having me.